But a lot of times, someone who maybe isn't a nice person, but is successful, they're still doing the basic principles of a go giver. And let me let me explain that if I may. Please. Because people often ask, well, what about Steve Jobs? And I mean, you know, if you've read Steve Jobs, the, the, the biography by Walter Isaacson or a number of articles or heard people talk about Steve Jobs, it's, it's I mean, there's no doubt. I don't think it's any sure secret. He created a lot of value, though. Oh, well, we're going to talk about that. Exactly. He That's sure did. Right. Okay. But so we, but we know he was not not easy to work for. At times there were some character issues, and there were times where he, you know. So we know that people say, "What about Steve Jobs? He wasn't a go giver." He meant, and I'm going to say, "No, he was a go giver." Yeah, I think. and here's why. Let's put everything he did against the five laws. Okay, the law of value. Your true worth is determined by how much more you give in value then you take in payment, which doesn't mean you don't make a profit, you make a great profit. It means that your focus is on the value. That in other words, when someone buys something from you or does business with you, they receive so much value that, that they got received much more in value than what they paid, okay? By the way, that's a very basic law of economics. We, uh, people will exchange their money for that which they feel is of greater value than the money they exchange it for. When people buy his his uh, products, the iPhone and the iPad and the this and the that and the computers, it, they're pretty expensive. But people buy them because they believe they're they're receiving more value from these products than what they're paying. So obviously the first law, he's nailed, right? Second law, the law of compensation. Your, your income is determined by how many people you serve and how well you serve them. So where law number one says give more in value than you take in payment, law number two says uh, the number of people you serve, right, is, is, going to be the in, uh, is going to be your actual income. The more people who, whose lives you provide that exceptional value to, the more money with which you'll be rewarded. Well, just look at the lines when, he, when a new product comes out. Look at the lines at the store, okay? This guy obviously uh, served a lot of people. Law number two. Law number three, your influence is determined by how abundantly you place other people's interests first. There's only one way to consistently sell. It's all knowing it's all about the customer. Now, people say, well, wait a second. Wait a second, Bob. Steve Jobs never did surveys. He never did, uh, what do you call them, the study, you know, focus groups. He never, well, okay, but here's a couple things. First, Steve Jobs had a knack of knowing what the public wanted before the public even knew what the public wanted. But here's what Steve Jobs also said, which most people don't know. He said, You've got to start with the customer experience and work your way back to the technology. He understood that people would only buy from him to the degree that their interests were served. Okay, so law three. Law number four, the law of authenticity. Uh, the most valuable gift you have to offer is yourself. I don't think anyone would doubt that he was authentic and what he was looking to do, and he did it. Law number five, the law of receptivity. Uh, the key to effective giving is to stay open to receiving. Like many entrepreneurs and like many billionaires, actually, he was not particularly, he wasn't really focused on money. He allowed himself to receive it, and he sure, certainly did, but his goal was to make a ding in the universe, okay? But he certainly did receive, and he was a multi-billionaire which he should have been for, as you said, all the value he provided. Now, was he the nicest person in the world? It seems he probably wasn't, but was he a go-giver? As far as I'm concerned, he absolutely did business as a go-giver.